This is Christopher Campbell. This is his new book from Milk Street, also a great publication. <laughs> we'll show you recipes that change the way you cook, meaning you'll get out of the kitchen quicker, or you can do things in a more efficient or smarter way, and you're like, huh, why did I not think of that before? <laughs> anyway, that's the basis of the new rules. Literally, he wrote the book. The first rule is when you make a beef stew, you don't, ready? Don't saute the meat. I do, I, no, 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 you, no. no I'm, I'm down with this really? in, 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 in two different schools of thought. In traditional bolognese yes. cooking, you never brown the meat. In fact, you barely take the color out of That's the right. meat. You barely take the pink out of it. I was just in Bologna. We so, made ragu bolognese. And a bolognese. And 30 seconds and they They, they barely take the color out of the meat. It's considered very bad form if you brown the meat. So I understand that thinking. I do. I really do. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. I'm good. I was wondering. Although for many dishes, I do say color equals flavor in cooking, and it can. That's true. So we're going to take six pounds of beef shoulder, which we've cut up, never by the round. You know, that stuff that's already cut up in the supermarket, you know that, because it's from the, from the top of the leg. It's not great. We have a tablespoon of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we're going to throw in also, sort of interesting, you can put warm spices with meat. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. put cinnamon, you can put cloves. All spice, clove. Just a little bit of clove in there, yeah. And mix that up and let that sit while you're preparing the rest of it. So we start with an onion, we start with a fennel bulb, uh, and we start with four ounces of pancetta, of course, which is just salt Rolled cured. Rolled cured meat, yeah. similar to bacon, but not smoked. Not smoked. Mm -hmm. uh, and that'll provide nice uh, flavor and the fat. Saute the onion uh, and the fennel bulb, and then we'll add the meat to that. And at one can of tomatoes, no wine, no stock, no water. So the, another rule is when you're doing a beef stew, it's more of a braise. You don't add a lot of liquid. Now, when I've cooked, and you know this, like a Tuscan beef stew right, with right, a lot right. of Barolo, sometimes that wine kind of sucks some of the flavor out of the meat. So we're not using a lot of a liquid here, which means it goes in the oven for a couple hours. Then you take the top off. The oven browns the meat because nice. the meat's now above the liquid. It's now, I was so just going to say, the, the, yeah. the level rises, so it does get so we, yeah, so we Just we in split reverse. It. Yeah, in, in reverse. reverse. And so it does give you some browning. But, you know, the other thing is with six pounds of meat. Chris, you're so fascinating. Why don't you keep talking to the people and I'll just try some. <laughs> but another thing is when you have so much meat, you need more umami. You know, and sometimes you want to let other things come through. That's and, I, a, and I'm guessing the fennel salad. Fennel, tomato salad. I can put this right on it. Why not? I want to. You're going to do it whether I, I say you can or not. I want the texture. I want the texture. I want the brightness. I want the good. acidity. I'm sorry. You want to get in here? Yeah. Yeah, you want to yeah. share some with yeah. me? Yeah, absolutely. How hot is that, huh? 